Hi. A few vidcasts ago, I put forward the question, is the anarchist movement UK dead? Well, it ain't quite buried, let's put it that way. Anarchism, anarchic currents, will always re-emerge in various forms to challenge capitalism, authority, the state. However, here and now, in the UK, from a revolutionary, insurgent, insurrectionary, spontaneous, working-class perspective, there's nothing of any consequence going on. From my observations, the eco-movement, for example, is passive, middle-class, cultist, collaborationist, begging for dialogue with an instrangent media and government. See how it's all folded up recently after raising so many hopes. Only the group Tire Extinguishers seem to have gone beyond the legalistic bounds, but by their very nature must remain in small affinity groups dedicated to direct action and sabotage. Squatting still continues, but beneath the radar due to legal considerations. But now it's down to pure survival in these desperate times. The small groups that exist are failing to communicate and expand influence, even in these social, economic, political circumstances. One reason we cannot break out is the stullifying infiltration of middle-class identity politics, extreme liberalism. Although the main reason is with the dire situation out there, it's because there's been a withdrawal of the working class from politics, protest, even the usual volatile, marginalised lumpen elements, always providing us with a solid base, have retreated into silence. The fate of the Don't Pay campaign shows we can't artificially create the spirit of the anti-poll tax days. The streets, communities remain, for the most part, silent. No encouraging resistance, disorder, spontaneity, with an election looming, we may be able to indulge with some subversive intervention here and there and link up with others of a discontented stripe. If a real militant anti-royal movement started to seriously coalesce, that too could have possibilities, taking a fight to the heart of the establishment. Meanwhile, we have to discuss, regroup, form affinity groups, await possibilities to break out of our relative isolation, there's still a very big future out there. Bye.